And now, a bulletin from SCTV News. I'm Floyd Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And in a matter of moments, Mellonville Mayor Tommy Shanks will be addressing the city of Mellonville with one of his famous fireside chats. This is going to preempt regular programming throughout the day. The uh, press, Floyd and I included, uh, have not been briefed on the mayor's remarks. One can only speculate, however, that he will be discussing the recent municipal budget cutbacks here in Mellonville. Earl, we're ready to cut away now. From his home, Mayor Tommy Shanks. Hello. How are you? I'm doing pretty good myself. <laughs> Boy, it sure has been cold this last month. I think it's got something to do with the moon. That's what I think. But I could be wrong. <laughs> well, good night. You have just heard a message from His Worship, Mayor Tommy Shanks. Well, uh, Earl, what, uh, what did you make of it? Well, the, uh, <clears throat> I think the mayor was quite specific in his remarks, Floyd. Uh, however, knowing politics as I do, uh, one does have to read between the lines, so to speak. Uh, the reference to the weather was interesting, uh, unexpected even. Uh, I have my own theories. Uh, what... What, uh, what do you, uh, what do you think about it? Earl, that? I don't think he said anything. He said the weather was cold. Au contraire, Floyd. Uh, he was obviously alluding to the recent hydro cutbacks. Uh, the thermometers are lower all over the city. People are colder. Uh, 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 he seemed to be inviting support for his recent uh, proposed budget that the city Earl. council Earl. recently... he said nothing. He said the weather was cold. Now, what the hell is that? A snappy opening. Oh, uh, uh, that was a stupid opening, and it was a stupid speech. And it's a waste of valuable airtime, and I refuse to cover any more of these stupid fireside chats. I could be home having a drink. Well, good night. The other statement I found particularly startling... This has been a bulletin from SCTV News.